Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today we're going to work on the vocabulary and sight word pictures for First Grade Journeys Lesson 21. And our anchor text is the story, The Garden from Frog and Toad Together. So for this lesson, we're going to turn and talk. That means I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to think about your answer. You're going to pair up with a partner at home, or you can be my virtual partner. And then you're going to share out your answer in a complete sentence or sentences. Before this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper or journal page. And you're going to write numbers one to eight. And you're going to write all eight vocabulary words. And then at the end of our lesson, I'm going to challenge you to write your words two more times, one and two. Um, on, in the third column, you can also draw a picture instead of writing the word the third time. Here's our first learning target. I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the story, The Garden, from Frog and Toad together. Here's our second learning target. I can talk about the important words and pictures from the story. Success criteria. That means how will you know you're successful at using pictures and context clues to understand the important vocabulary words? And how will you know you're successful at talking about these words? Well, here are your steps to success. I will, number one. Look closely at each pair of pictures. I will, number two, say what you notice or see. How are the pictures the same or similar? That's where you turn and talk. Number three, I will read each word and its definition. Number four, I will write each word one, two or more times and, and or draw a picture for each. Let's Briefly go over our turn and talk rules. Number one, if you have a partner at home, eye to eye and knee to knee, make sure you're looking at your partner. Number two, first one person talks, the other person listens. Number three, then the next person talks, the other person listens. Do not talk too long on your turn or your partner will not have time to have a turn. I'm going to ask the same questions for each pair of pictures. What do you notice or see? And you can say, I notice or I see. And then I'm going to say, how are they both the same or similar? And you're going to say, they both, and tell me how they're the same. You can also agree with me or your partner and say, I agree with you because, and say why. Or you can disagree and say, I disagree with you because, and say why. Here's our first group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I see a, a pile of soccer balls. And then right next to it is less soccer balls and the arrows pointing to the fewer or less. And in the next picture, I notice a big group of people and in the right next to it is a smaller group of people. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They both? Well, they both show few, few. So make sure you write few, F-E-W, few, few. What does few mean? Few means some or not many of something. So there are a few soccer balls and there are a few people, not many, few. So make sure you write few. A synonym or word that means the same is some. There are only a few trees here. There are only a few trees here. You can also say there are only some trees here. Some and few are similar. How do I use it? 
I have only a few coins. Can I buy a few snacks? You can also say, I only have some coins. Can I buy some snacks? All right, next group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice the night sky with stars and a moon. In the second picture, I notice, uh, again, stars and sky, and it's at nighttime or overnight. And there's even some shooting stars. Um, so how are these two pictures the same or similar? They both... Well, they both show night, night, N-I-G-H-T, night. At night, you can see the stars unless it is a cloudy night, night, N-I-G-H-T, night. What is night? Night is the evening or time of day after the sun has gone down and it is dark outside. So night is the evening or time of day after the sun has gone down and it is dark outside. So a synonym or word that means the same could be evening. The bud opens in the day and the buds open in the day and close at night. When it is dark outside, you could also say the buds open in the day and close in the evening. How do I use it? I can tell it's night when it begins to get dark. What can you do at night that you can't do in the day? You could also say I can tell it's evening when it begins to get dark. What can you do in the evening that you can't do in the day? So night and evening are similar. What do you notice or see about these pictures? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a man. It looks like he's yelling through a megaphone. And in the second picture, I notice a girl is shouting or yelling as well, very loudly. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They both? Well, they both show loudly, loudly. When you're yelling, it's usually loudly. L-O-U-D-L-Y. Loud is the root word, loud, L-O-U-D, loudly. L-O-U-D-L-Y, loudly. What does loudly mean? Loudly means deeply and at full volume in a noisily way. Loudly means deeply and at full volume in a noisily way. So a synonym could be deeply or noisily. The bird sang loudly in the tree. The bird sang loudly in the tree. You could also say the bird sang deeply or noisily in the tree. How do I use it? I said my name loudly so that everyone could hear it. Are you allowed to talk loudly in the library? You could also say, I said my name deeply so that everyone could hear it. Are you allowed to talk deeply or noisily in the library? Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a window looking into a room. In the next picture, I, oh, I notice a window that's open and you can see the outside or the sun. 
So how are these pictures the same or similar? They both? Well, they both show a window, W-I-N-D-O-W, -W, window, W-I-N-D-O-W, -W, window. A window is an opening in a wall that lets light and air into the room. A, wind in, a window is an opening in a wall that lets light and air into a room or the room. A synonym or word that means the same is opening, opening. The big tree is very close to the window. The big tree is very close to the window. Or you could say the big tree is very close to the opening in the house. How do I use it? Nina opened the window to let in some air. What colors can you see when you look out the window in your room? You can also see, say, Nina opened the opening to let in some air. What colors can you see when you look out a opening in your room? Remember, an opening is a window. Next pair of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a drum that is tapping and maybe making some music. And in the second picture, I notice a bird singing and making music. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They both? Well, they both show, show noise. So noise can be pleasant or noise can be unpleasant. You can make noise with a drum. You can make noise when you're singing. A noise is a sound. So noise is just sound. A synonym could be sound. I heard a noise in the garden. I heard a noise in the garden. Noise is spelled N-O-I-S-E. Noise, N-O-I-S-E, noise. You could also say, I heard a sound in the garden. How do I use it? The noise outside wake woke me up. What noise do you often hear on a playground? You could say the sound outside woke me up. What sound do you often hear on a playground? Next group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a mom is reading a story to her daughter um, before she goes to sleep. And in the second picture, I notice a book with characters and a setting, like a castle. And uh, it looks like a, some sort of adventure or story. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They both Well, they both show story, S-T-O-R-Y, story, story. A story tells about events that have happened. The events of a tale or story can be real or make-believe. So a synonym or a word that means the same is tale, like Little Rabbit's Tale. He tells a story about planting trees. He tells a story about planting trees. You could also say he tells a tale, tale about planting trees. How do I use it? I like the story about the princess. What story has someone told you? You could also say I liked the tale about the princess. 
What tale has someone told you? Because remember, a tale is a story. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice someone is walking in one direction and it says future. So something's going to happen in the future. In the second picture, I notice a person is about ready to go forward. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They both? Well, this is a tricky one. They both uh, refer to shall, shall, S-H-A-L-L, shall. What does shall mean? Shall is a word that tells that something will happen in the future. So shall is a word that tells that someone something will happen in the future. Shall. So a synonym or word that, that is similar or means the same is will. We shall pick apples today. We shall pick apples today. You could also say, we will pick apples today. How do I use it? I shall go shopping tomorrow. How shall you spend your next summer vacation? You could also say, I will go shopping tomorrow. How will you spend your next summer vacation? Here's our last two pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice the earth. I see land and water. In the next picture, I notice three hands are holding up another earth or globe with land and water. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They both. Well, they both show the world. World. W-O-R-L-D. World. The world is the planet Earth. The world is the planet Earth. So a synonym for world is earth. My garden is the best place in the world. My garden is the best place in the world. Or you could say the best place on earth. How do I use it? His family lives in another part of the world. In what part of the world is your city? You could also say, his family lives in another part of the earth. In what part of earth is your city? Or where on earth is your city? So world, W-O-R-L-D. That is the last of our eight vocabulary words and sight words. So it's time to review. Number one, few. Few means some or not many of something. Number two, night. Night is the evening or time of day after the sun has gone down and it is dark outside. Night. Three is loudly. Loudly means deeply and at full volume in a noisily way. Or is window. A window is an opening in the wall that lets in light and air into the room. So if you need to make any changes or make sure you have all four of these words, this is a good time to push pause. When you're finished making a change, push play. Number five, noise. A noise is a sound. Number six, story. 
A story tells about events that have happened. The events of a tale or story can be real or make-believe. Number seven, shall. Shall is a word that tells that something will happen in the future. Number eight, world. The world is the planet Earth. So again, if you need to make any changes, make sure you have all of these words, noise, story, shall, and world. You can push pause, make your changes, and then push play. At the top of your paper, I want you to write your reflection. How well did you meet the learning target? I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the story, The Garden from Frog and Toad. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I easily said how each pair of pictures were the same. Would you give yourself a three? I was able to say how most of the picture pairs were the same. Or would you give yourself a two? I was able to say how some of the picture pairs were the same. Or would you give yourself a one? I was not able to say how any of the picture pairs were the same. So write your reflection at the top. And my challenge to you now is to write your words up to two more times. Thank you, everyone, for reviewing the sight words and, and vocabulary words with me. Have a great day.